I just wanted to show you something interesting, not very common. Now, if you notice here, this is the four chamber view and you have this is uh, the spine, aorta and the chambers on the left side and the chambers on the right side. But what unusual you see is you see a kind of a band here in this ventricle which immediately gives you an indication that this could be a moderator band and in case it's a moderator band then it is the right ventricle. So in that scenario suddenly the whole scene, scene changes it becomes a congenitally corrected transposition or an L looping of the ventricles. That means the right ventricle is on the left side and the left ventricle is on the right side. Wait. Don't jump to the conclusion so quickly. Now I am going to show you, uh, these are the experiments from University of Minnesota and they have done on experimental uh, animals and uh, they have done it with an inflation of the air by and viewing the heart from inside. So inside view of the left ventricle you can see these two strands or bands which are very bright and of a fibrotic tissue. So meaning that left ventricle can have bands which can uh, give you a kind of a suspicion that this could be a moderator band. As an adult cardiologist we have seen such things in the past and if you see it carefully here where I pointed the arrow you see a band coming close to the LV apex and getting installed into the left ventricle outflow tract pretty common thing what we see in a normal individual and in patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Now on the same patient this is the three dimensional echo which shows this band arising from the lateral posterior wall of the left ventricle and attaching at the left ventricle outflow tract. So that means the bands are possible. Another patient normal individual you see a thick band which is there in the left ventricle close to the apex absolutely resembling the moderator band. So then how do we say this is uh, not a moderator band? I'll come to that and that's the three dimensional echo of the same patient uh, and the same one you see two thick strands which are originating from the septal wall and merging together and attaching on the lateral wall. So these bands across the left ventricle are called pseudo tendons right so these bands are known to happen or pseudo papillary muscles to happen in left ventricle okay so that's what you see on a three dimensional that's another patient and the same patient again you see a fibrotic band running right across the left ventricle uh, close to the left ventricle apex so now the issue is when do we say that this is a right ventricle and this is the moderator band? Now if these bands are eco bright and thin, more likely they are a pseudo tendons of the left ventricle. And in these situations use other parameters to kind of find that is this right ventricle or not. And what are the features, other features of saying that this is the right ventricle and not the left one are one is a moderator band which has caused a confusion here second is the tricuspid valve which is actually attached on the septum towards the apex so that's the second one then papillary muscles are actually attached to the moderator band down there in the fetal echo it looks like that papillary muscle is getting attached close to the rv apex you have cordy which are attached to the septum from the septal leaflet but these are not seen on a fetal echo. Then if it is coarsely trabeculated this is the right ventricle. If it is finely trabeculated it's the left ventricle. Again not a very easy sign. So I hope today we I was able to tell you that you might see such things in uh, uh, future when you are doing a fetal echo and be cautioned and look at other features before you jump to the conclusion that that's the right ventricle. And I think I would not be posting uh, these links on my social media. Would be a good idea that you subscribe the channel and you automatically would be notified 
if I had send you a new video or not upload a new one. Thank you very much and I would say happy learning.